If you're looking for a software that lets you remove completely green screen background in your video, here's the video for you. In today's video, I will cover 5 best green screen software, free and paid programs for Windows and Mac users. Let's dive into the detail right away. Position number 5 is Atomy Active Presenter. This is an all-in-one video editing suite you can use to create online training videos, software demos or completely e-learning courses. The program is packed with a screen recorder, and a video editor with green screen effect feature. Activer Presenter is my go-to software when it comes to making tutorial videos for my YouTube channel. The program is not only easy to use, but also has numerous useful features for creating faster tutorials such as its high-quality screen recorder advanced video, audio editor, and tons of annotation tools. Most importantly, it does key out the selected video background color as it should be. Check out the link in this video to learn how to remove green screen background in Active Presenter from my last tutorial. Here are some cases you can use Active Presenter. Making software tutorials. Making software simulation. Create online training courses. Develop fully responsive e-learning package. Annotating videos and images. To download Active Presenter, go ahead to Atomy's homepage or hit the link in the description. This program is free to use for non-commercial purposes. Available for Windows 64-bit and Mac OS. Standing at position number 4 of the best green screen software in our list is Fillmore Video Editor. This program is a simple to use video editing suite created for novices and casual users. The program is packed with lots of presets, filters and transitions as well as some advanced video editing tools like chroma key, video stabilizer, audio mixer and color grading tools. To apply green screen effect in Filmora, click on top of the video track, check the chroma key box. The program will automatically remove the green background from your footage. With Filmora, you can also adjust the offset, tolerance, edge thickness and so on. Filmora Video Editor is suitable for those of you who don't have prior video editing experiences and those who are tired of using complicated video editing suite out there. Here are 5 most important things you should be noticed about Filmora Video Editor. Video output in free version will be watermarked. Some music tracks are copyrighted content. You can't key out some background color program can be crashed very often. Make sure that you set up proper backup time, 20% off coupon code is in the description. Coming up next in number 3 position is VSTC Free Video Editor. This program is not as easy to use as Filmora. The interface looks a little bit strange compared to other classic timeline video editors you normally see on the market. However, the good thing is this program is 100% free to use. It lets you capture various input formats, edit video, add video effects, audio effects, color correction, LUTs and finally export your video without watermark. Before trying to use Chroma Key in VSDC, I suggest you spend some minutes rearrange the layout to make it easier for you. To do that, go to options at the top right corner of the program. Check out the setting you need and hit OK. To remove green screen background of a video, drag it to the timeline. Right click on top of the clip, go to video effect, transparency and choose background remover. Now you can choose the color to remove as well as adjust some parameter to get better result. VSDC free video editor is only available for Windows operating system. There are no Mac or Linux version. If you want to have advanced Chroma key tool, consider to update to VSDC Pro version. The cost is $19.99 per lifetime. It's the most affordable video editor I've ever seen. To download the software, check out the link in the description below. Ranking at position number 2 is Lightworks. This is one of the most powerful video editor I've reviewed. It's simple to use, yet decent for making film. The program comes along with many advanced features that movie makers may love to use. The only disadvantage of using Lightworks is the output limitation at 720p in its free version. Out of that, it's great to use. Clean user interface, feature rich, good performance, less crash issues and so on. Once you download it and have Lightworks installed on your, your computer, the program will ask you to register an account to continue using its free version. You can simply put your email address and a password to getting started. At the start page, go ahead to create a new project. Give it a name. 
choose your project frame rate, and add a special node if you want to. Now you are at the main workspace of Lightworks. It looks a little messy if this is the first you use it. There are Log tab, Edit tab, VFX and Audio. To use Chroma key, go ahead to Log tab, select your footage in local file, drag and drop it to Source window. Then, come back to Edit tab. Though Lightworks is very powerful, it needs a high-end computer to get things done properly. I highly recommend you use this program if only you meet its minimum system requirements. For low-end laptops, use the software I mentioned earlier. In this example, I brought two clips to the timeline. Once is a background video and the other is the clip I want to overlay. When they are in position, go to VFX. Then, right click on green screen track, add chroma key. Now you can use the eyedropper tool to key out the color. The quality looks great without any further adjustment. With Lightworks, you can do so much more with the effect. Check it out yourself. Here is the clip I exported. Finally, Check out another great green screen software in our list, TechSmith Camtasia. Camtasia has everything you need to create perfect online training videos, marketing videos as well as different kind of content. The program is powerful and the company offers super useful tutorials and support on their website and YouTube. Here's an example. The Remove a Color Effect, also known as Green Screen or Chroma Key, allows you to quickly remove a single color background from a video. This is great as it allows you to shoot all of your video in one controlled environment, which you can then use to superimpose yourself anywhere. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add the remove a color effect to a piece of media, then fine tune its properties to make the end result look as real as possible. To start, you need video that's been shot in front of a single color background. If you don't have any, but would still like to follow along, download the sample green screen video that's linked below. With your video in Camtasia, drag the Remove a Color effect from the Tools panel to the clip on the timeline. Then, open the Properties panel and choose the color you'd like to remove. This part can be a little tricky, and sometimes you have to try different areas of the video to get the best results. One way to make this process a little easier is to crop your video so that you have less background to remove. Keep in mind that you won't be able to remove all of the color by simply making a selection. This is where the sliders come into play. Start by adjusting the tolerance, since this has the biggest impact on your color removal. The further to the right you move the slider, the wider range of tints and shades you remove from your video. Next, adjust the softness to smooth out any pixelation and rough edges of color that remain around your subject. Play around with these two sliders to remove as much color as possible without affecting your subject. If you're finding it difficult to achieve this, try resetting the effect and picking the color again, this time from a different area of the background. Moving on, we'll skip the hue slider for a minute and go right to defringe. Sometimes no matter how much you adjust the tolerance and softness, there's still a slight halo around your subject. To address this, move the defringe slider slightly left 
or right to make any remaining color less noticeable. At this point, you're ready to add a new background to the timeline. Make sure it's on a track below the edited clip and preview the video to make sure everything looks how you want it. If the coloring of the subject looks out of place in the new background, use the hue slider to adjust the clip to match the new background. Invert will hide everything except the color you removed, but I'll let you decide how you might use that. Before we end, let's go over a few tips to keep in mind while working with Remove a Color. First, look out for shadows, especially when shooting your clip and especially when subjects are in motion. Shadows can change the hue of a background or a subject in the foreground, and they make the job of removing a color a lot more difficult. Second, when editing the effect on a clip, check different points in the video. Sometimes the color or lighting may change at different points, and you want to make sure you adjust the effect to match. As a final tip, Try reversing the order and add the new background to the timeline before tweaking the sliders. This allows you to preview your final video while fine-tuning the remove a color effect. Both Windows and Mac user can download and try Camtasia in 30 days. Once you are happy with the program, you can purchase the software at $249 per license. One license can be installed on two machine. There are volume discount, educational price as well as government and non-profit license too. That's the end of my today's video. If you like any software in our list, check out the link in the description below. If you like our video, don't forget to leave your comment, like and share. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next videos.